Okay, this tutorial is going to be on creating a star field for a space scene. Uh, some people were asking me to do some tutorial like that and were asking me about the uh, status of my Star Wars fan film. Uh, this is a frame from the opening shot here. And the film is finished. I just I wanted to, you know, do some additions to it, touch up the soundtrack, and uh, it's kind of really still a work in progress as far as I'm concerned because even though I've, I've finished the bulk of the film, I still don't feel that it's ready for release, but I will pr probably put what I have out as a work in progress pretty soon, uh, just so people can take a look at it and whatnot. But um, right now I'm gonna show you how to make a star field. So um, what I have here is, um, there's a couple different ways you could do this, and let's go ahead and take a look at uh, using an image. If you wanted to, for example, use a, a background image, hit Control F7, and for background image, go ahead and select um, for example, select this star image. Okay, you won't see anything happen yet unless you go to D for your display preferences, and under Camera View Background, select the background image. Now you'll see it, and then you'll see as the camera moves around. You see, this camera is going to have the uh, standard kind of crawl down, like at the opening shot in a lot of Star Wars movies do, and then you see the camera move over as this ship pans in front of it. So what you'll see here is is um. Now this object of stars that I have here is getting in the way, so let me hide this. You'll see one of the drawbacks of using an image map, which is, for one thing, if you look at this image map, it's kind of blurry sometimes, so sometimes depending on what your image is, if it doesn't match the dimensions of, of the rendered image, it's, it's not going to look good sometimes. It might kind of streak and blur. But as you can see, as the camera moves around, the stars aren't really moving they're just sitting there so as the camera moves especially if you pan back and forth if you do this you'll see that um, the camera the star should pan with it in a parallax kind of motion but that's not happening here because it's a static image it gives that swimming kind of effect so uh, I'm not going to use that I'm going to say no background image none okay and instead as you can see here I've created an actual star field an actual object I'll select vertices so you can see it better. And um, select the star field. Now, sometimes it's hard to see but because it's so large. But there it is. It's in the scene. And as you can see, it's, it's really a, a massive uh, thing that's way, way far back from the rest of the scene here. And the way I did that was pretty easy. Here's the star field object. It's just a, a plane of points. And so what I'll do is I'll go to uh, another layer here and kind of recreate it. I'll go to my front view. And then I'll go to my Create tab and hit N for numeric. And then you'll see we have the spray points. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just create some points here. And uh, let me see here. I'll, I'll do a rate of all right, like 10. And then because this is such a large object, I'm going to create a, a radius of, I'll, I'll do like a 3 kilometer radius. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here. And I'll start spraying. And as you can see, um, I'm just getting a massive amount of points. If I go to my upper view there you'll see that we have uh, we can just spray points to our hearts content and then the neat thing about this also is that you can actually you know make things since you're actually modeling these you could for example make I'm gonna make like a little swirly galaxy here alright now that's a little bit a bit too neat and clear for a uh, an actual star field you would want um, a star field to have more of an organic kind of random effect so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go in to my modify tab and go to jitter which jitter will take the points in an object and randomly kind of move them around add some noise to things now because this is such a large object I'm going to use Gaussian that's fine Gaussian will give you a, a large amount of of, uh, of uh, jitter and then you know, depending on the size of your object you're going to want to set your radius to something that's going to make sense for that object so if you had a a one meter long object, you would definitely not want to set one you know kilometer size uh, jitter radius for this. So I'm going to jitter that, and as you can see, that was a bit much. So I'm going to go to five kilometers. So as you can see now, we've jittered it, and it has um, it has gone ahead, and it's still I can still see that it's a swirly galaxy, but it's it's more randomized now, so it looks much more organic. And uh, the other thing I did was, um, in order to create a star field, is that I went ahead and I I noticed that with star fields, let me try and render a 
frame of this in the background here. Render frame. I'll see if I can do that and, and show you this while without crashing everything. Okay, so uh, I'll hit Control uh, F5 to bring up my uh, surface editor. What I did also was I selected uh, various stars in this object and I applied uh, not just one star tex texture to it. I, I made some of the stars red and some of them kind of yellowish and some of them very white. And then also I, I went in and um, under the luminosity uh, channel I gave it a procedural texture turbulence so that not every single one of these points was going to be the exact same color. And that gave it some randomness. So let's see here if that image... So here we go. And so as you can see we've got um, we've got something that looks like an actual star field uh, from the Star Wars uh, milieu or whatever. And so um, that's pretty much um, how you can do that in, in an easy way. And then, of course, when you pan this around, when you pan the camera around with this scene, it's going to react correctly. It's also going to react to you know your motion blur and stuff like that. If you um, if you pan uh, your camera around a lot in a scene like this, go to your camera settings and turn on your motion blur and turn on particle blur, and then that will give these uh, th that will give these some some nice um, effects like that. And another thing, it didn't really bother me in this scene, but now that I think about it, you go to your Starfield object and bring up its properties, P for properties, and go to render, and then turn off all these shadow casting things because you don't want them casting shadows or receiving shadows. Uh, like I said, it didn't really bother me in this scene because the lights weren't really interacting with that that much, but uh, you might want to do that. So that is how to create a Starfield.